All right, welcome to our CPOC series here on Unofficial ACI Guide. Uh, my name is Jody. I'm going to take you through the drawing that we'll be looking at and using uh, for the next few videos, for basically all the videos in this series. I wanted to, to kind of take you down and give you a, a tour, so to speak, uh, of what you'll be looking at. So for this series of videos, the topology you're looking at here, this is an ACI multipod topology. Uh, we've got four different uh, ACI leafs in pod one, and the pods are split up here by this dotted line that you see here. We've got two leafs in pod two, and then we've got redundant spines respectively in pod one and pod two. Those spines connect up to redundant IPN devices up here at the top. And you can see that we've got four of those. Uh, these are Nexus 9000 devices in NXOS mode. Uh, so for the PIM buyer traffic, the OSPF, the Jumbo MTUs, everything that we need for the IPN traffic, the bum traffic to, to traverse uh, from spine one or from pod one to pod two, we're gonna have these devices available. Um, going down here, uh, we're start, we'll start over here at the left here. On our border leaves going outside, We've got a couple of Catalyst 9500 switches that are going to act as the Layer 3 data center core devices leading outside of ACI. Uh, we're going to have uh, Layer 3 routed connections that go down here to a set of uh, ASR 1Ks. So we've got an ASR 1K essentially for each uh, pod, right? And then those two ASR 1Ks are going to collapse down to this Nexus 5000. Uh, and we're just using these devices down here basically to see uh, when routes are coming out of pod one or pod two from the ACI perspective, we wanna see what the routes look like, make sure we're getting the correct bridge domain routes. When we test host-based routing, we'll, we'll be able to see slash 32 routes coming from, from uh, the left side as opposed to the right side, for example. Um, and then uh, moving back a little bit, in, in addition to the networking components, we've also got some, we've got VMM integration. So we've got some UCSB series uh, in pod one that are attached to LEAF 1001 and 1002. Uh, we've also got a UCSC series down here connected to the same pair of ACI LEAFs. Moving over to pod two, you can see that we have two different C series um, that, that hang off of uh, the ACI LEAFs uh, 2001 and 2002 in pod 2 and this C series actually has a backdoor connection to the outside um, uh, traditional networking components these Catalyst 9500s that sit in pod 2 and we'll use that for some some migration testing. Um, one other thing I uh, that I really did want to highlight uh, for everyone here is Obviously, we've got LEAP 1001 through 1004 over in pod one, but we're, we're going to, you're going to frequently hear them referred to by their, their name. So for CPOC, they actually name the devices. So uh, when you think about the old cats ver or pets versus cattle argument, uh, you know, they're siding with the pets in, in, this, in this side, I guess. So when we're talking about LEAP 1001 or LEAP 1002, It'll be very frequent. You'll hear us refer that to that as meerkat or mouse. Mammals 31 and 32. Mammals 33 and 34. You'll probably hear that quite a bit. Mammals 31 through 34. Those are Catalyst 9500s that act as data center core routing devices outside of ACI. There's also layer two connections, but we use them traditionally or primarily for the layer three connectivity. Uh, Burrow, Palmer, Meerkat, Mouse, Dingo, Wolf. Those are the six ACI Leafs. I don't think we really ever refer to the spines um, by name. Uh, we do refer to the IPN devices, Baboon, Cougar, Coyote, and Llama. So whenever you're going through and you're, you're watching the videos, um, as you hear these weird sounding names, that's what we've done. Um, and I know that this is probably pretty hard to see in the video, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to embed this PDF um, in the blog post so you can download it and follow along with it if you choose to. Anyway, that's a quick high-level overview of what we're gonna be looking at. Um, thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching the video today. If you'd like more ACI how-tos, design guides, and best practices, check us out on the web at unofficialaciguide.com or on YouTube.